This here episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello, internet, and welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. Well, not physically a buffalo, it is my spirit animal, and I embody its buffaloness. Uh, on this episode of Ask the Buffalo, we got a ton of stuff to talk about. I'm just back from Google I.O. I'm on my way to Apple's WWDC. We got new tech coming out, new OS is coming out, and all kinds of crazy stuff in between. Let's jump right to the questions. First one comes from Sichoff underscore. Uh, at John Four Lakers, what is the best Android phone on Verizon? So the best is totally subjective. It's gonna depend on what's best for you, but I will say I am on Verizon and I bought a Galaxy S6 Edge. So for me, that was the best phone, but you can use a Nexus 6 uh, on Verizon, even buy one of the unlocked ones and put your SIM card in uh, and be fine. If you want a good deal, uh, the Droid Turbo is still one of the better phones uh, out there. Hope that helped answer your question. Next one comes from at DangerGross09 at John for Lakers. Do you think Android M is worth the upgrade? Hashtag ask the B. Well, answer is we don't know yet. We don't know what Android M is really going to be when it comes out to full release. We've got a very, very early developer preview. Uh, and I can advise folks out there, I'm all for running beta software. Don't run the beta software and use the phone as your daily driver. It is not going to be a pleasant experience for you. Uh, at least I would advise against it. Use it if you have an extra device and you want to test it, see what new features are coming out. Well, not just want to start developing applications, but definitely wait until a couple beta iterations before you even consider using it every day. Next one comes from Fabio Estevez, brother of Emilio, who asks at John for Lakers, do you think Windows 10 will be better than Mac OS 10? The new Dell XPS 13 is amazing, but it still has Windows. Again, best is subjective. I will say uh, Windows 10 is definitely better than Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. I've been using Windows 10 in its latest beta uh, for about two weeks. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I always liked the start menu in Windows 8. I used the Surface and it was pretty handy. I very rarely went back to desktop mode. Uh, it's a bit strange having it sort of in the start menu now, but you can make it full screen. Uh, not, apps aren't working all that well right now, but you can see a lot of potential with Windows 10. I, I've been using the Edge browser, it's still called Project Spartan though in the current beta. It also works pretty well, though the l current logo, it's gonna look like Internet Explorer logo, I'm still gonna think I'm using it. Uh, but it does work well, uh, and if you're a fan of Windows 8 or sort of debating going to Windows 8, I think you're going to really like Windows 10. If you've got an idea for next great website, Domain.com has you covered. They want to hook you up with a great offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting when you use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. That's all capital letters, one word, at Domain.com's checkout. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. Next one comes from Matt Victorescu, who asks, at John Four Lakers, are you planning on using the Google Photos app as personal backup collection? The answer is yes, I am planning on it, and I am. Uh, from someone like me who switches between iOS and Android very regularly, it was always really hard to manage my pictures. I used to back up all of my iOS photos uh, onto OneDrive, and of course from Android back those up to OneDrive as well. Uh, now though, I have them all syncing via Google Photos and syncing really well. Uh, so that was one of the big problems I had from switching OS's. Now that is no longer an issue uh, at all. So I'm happy Google released a really well-featured, very well-performing iOS version. Of course, the one on Android works seamlessly. So that'll be my go-to gallery app on Android and probably my go-to gallery app now uh, on iOS. If you haven't tried it yet, you definitely should. But be warned though, it does take a very long time to upload your pictures. And if you want it to sync uh, from iOS, for me, it didn't work without the app open on the screen. So big battery drain. You want to leave it plugged in and just let it sit for a few hours and back up all of your photos. Next one comes from Kipper Busby who asks, do you think iOS 9 will be a giant leap forward? I feel like every year I get this question and I say, yes, this is going to be the one that we get widgets on the home screen. We get the ability to hide icons. We get some sort of app drawer. We get the ability to add a dial direct or right to your home screen. And I get so excited and every year it doesn't happen. We get like new fonts and a new design language. So listen, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, shame on me. Fool me full time, shame on me. And fool me five times, still, still, still shame on me. So no more. No, it is not going to be a huge jump forward. I'm just gonna hope I'm, hope I'm wrong. I think we're probably gonna see a more refined, bug-free version of the iOS that we've got right now in iOS 8. Um, We'll probably see some hints of what the next iPhone is going to be. We'll probably see some code for Force Touch in there, but certainly it's not going to be available because phones don't support it right now. But I wouldn't expect that much, uh, unfortunately, with iOS 9. I've just been disappointed in the past. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I love to be wrong, but these fingers are no longer crossed. Much love. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching that episode of Ask the Buffalo. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love doing these videos. I love answering your questions, so be sure to keep asking them. Uh, until next time, I am John Render from Tech into Buffalo, and I will talk to you, dear friend, in the next video. Bye-bye. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. Can you see the mic? It's hardly noticeable now. Think people are going to see it? Or it just like blends in with my shirt. It blends in? Yeah, I thought so, too. It's hardly even noticeable.